Hey guys, welcome back to the US Global Mail channel where we try and answer all mail and shipping related questions you may have. Today we will be talking about mailing addresses and specifically how you can get the USPS to recognize your address. It may sound a bit funny to you. If I have a valid street address, why wouldn't the USPS recognize it? It is actually more common than you would think, especially for people who move to a new location and for some reason, their location is not validated by the USPS. There's nothing worse than feeling like your mailing address is stuck in a permanent black hole. But why are some addresses not recognized to begin with? Sometimes the data from the USPS database may have an error. People manage the addresses that are listed. So it is possible that from time to time, there will be some mistake in the system. Any mistake that is added into the system, whether spelling or the wrong zip code will trigger an error. Another possible reason is that there is missing information. In certain cases, there is no mistake that has been made in the address itself, but rather some information that may be missing from the address. As an example, it may be hard to validate an address if you do not know the house number or street number. So even though you may get the general area right, zip code, city, etc. If you do not have the actual street number, it will be very tough to pinpoint the exact location. Last but not the least, your address may not be registered. Any address that you reside in or have a business in will need to be registered with the USPS if it is not already within the USPS database. It is not under their responsibility to keep an eye out for new addresses that are created. The people who reside at those addresses, according to the USPS, bear the responsibility to ensure that their address is registered with the USPS system. If you have just moved to a new address, make sure to check out with the USPS if your address is coming up in their system. So how can you get the USPS to recognize your address? Step one, complete address standardization and parsing. Standardization means that any correct format in the address is fixed. For example, errors with the house number, street name, city, etc. could all potentially be causes for your address to not be validated. During this first step, other minor changes are also corrected. A misspelled street or city name can easily be fixed and any missing information can be filled in as well. However, standardization cannot help with fixing addresses that are outright incorrect. Address parsing is an effort to disassemble a specific line of data, identify its distinct parts and label them. This is something that is utilized for address validation as it will help with making both the standardizing and validating process more effective. Step two, checking the database. Once the process of address cleansing has been completed, then the address itself is taken and compared against a relevant database. From there, a search will take place to see if the address that is in the question is on the official list. If it is, then it is marked as a real and active address. Step three, returning a value. Once the validation process has been completed, then the address data is returned to the user completed with a valid or invalid status assigned to it. There may also be an explanation that comes with it as to why the address was not eligible for validation. The response that you get from the validation provider may also include supplemental information that the provider gathers regarding your address. Some providers may even include things such as geocodes that correspond to a particular address, RDI labels and time zone information. What if you keep having trouble with getting the USPS to recognize your address? 
it will be a good idea for you to reach out directly to your local post office and speak to your postmaster. They will usually direct you to the town office where you can get a copy of your property deed to confirm that your address is 100% legitimate. From there, they will use that copy of the information you have provided to add your address to the USPS address database. It will also be added during the next monthly update. A virtual address alternative. If your address is not recognized by the USPS and you can't seem to get this issue taken care of, you may want to consider a virtual address. Virtual addresses are real physical addresses with a physical location that allow you to access your mail from your computer or mobile phone. Every time a piece of mail arrives, you get an email notification and from there you can log into your account and see images of your mail in your account. If you need a piece of mail open and scan in order to view the interior documents, you can request that from your account. Shipping requests are also handled from there and one or more destination addresses and have packages shipped to you with discounted shipping rates. Because of the amount of mail we ship out for customers, we are able to get good discounts from all major shipping carriers such as UPS, FedEx and even the USPS. Virtual addresses are especially helpful for people who travel frequently, businesses who want a cheap alternative to register their business and any homeowner who wants to get mail digitally. Why go to the post office and pay for a physical mailbox that is twice the price and having to stand in line? With a virtual mailbox, you can view all your postal mail online. It is as easy as checking your email. We have added a link in the description if you would like to get started for free. Thanks for stopping by and we hope to see you on the next US Global Mail View. Ciao!